The nation's defense industry is seeing a major boom in job growth from arms to cybersecurity. There are thousands of positions that need to be filled right now and in the coming years. Joining us to talk about how to start a career in this field is Bob Carruthers, Vice President of Science Applications International Corporation, better known as SAIC. It's good to have you. Thank you for having me. So I know that uh, the government is pouring a lot of funding into the area of mm -hmm. defense. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about kind of where we sit right now now in terms of our defense mechanism in this country and the people we have to serve in those positions? Well, the, the, bu the budgets, as you said, are generally large with the Department of Defense relative to other things, but the, in, particularly in the area here, uh, there's a lot of work done uh, at NIWIC LANT, which is the Naval Information Warfare Center Atlantic. It's one of the Navy's premier engineering commands, and as a defense contractor, SIC supports that. Uh, with along with other contractors to do that ki kind of work. And so engineering, integration, cyber IT work. Mm -hmm. Now SAIC is headquartered in Virginia, but it's a, it's a global company. It and, is but global. You do, have a head, you do have a hub here in Charleston. That's correct. We have actually a, quite a large workforce in Charleston. We have over 700 employees and growing uh -huh. here in Charleston. It's one of our largest single geographic locations. How many people do you need to enter this sector? Because, you know, we talk about falling behind some of the other nations when it comes to cyber cybersecurity right. and with all the cyber warfare that's going on in the world right now we're a little bit behind when it comes to filling those positions I mean you've got a ton of positions right. open yourself so we, we do what's the challenge we have we have quite a few uh, job openings and so we it is a, those are stem jobs right and so there's yeah. always a shortage uh, coming out of schools whether it's a trade school a community college or regular college for hard engineering degrees, the cyber degrees, the computer science degrees. So there are more, honestly, more jobs out there than there are people to fill yeah. them. So it kind of creates competition. So yeah. that just drives us to be a, a better company, uh, not only with pay and benefits, which everybody kind of tends to look at, but we also have, we believe, have a greater sense of purpose in supporting the federal government, supporting the Department of Defense and our men and women in uniform, we take on part of that mission in supporting them, right? And right. so a lot of our folks who are veterans and even non-veterans, the, the job they go to is just not about compensation. It's about the mission they're doing and they really become part of it. And so it's, it's, you get much more satisfaction out of that on a day-to-day -day basis than sure. just going there for the, for the pay. You say that you do have some very generous programs for people who you want to retain right. these employees. We do. Well, so you always have to treat them great. Yeah. And so we do try and provide, provide workplace flexibility. For instance, we have adjusted our work weeks. So currently, uh, work schedule we have, you can work and have every other Friday off. Starting the next year, we're actually going to go to a work uh, week option in which employees can work uh, four-day weeks and have every Friday off. So imagine that, having a three-day three nice. weekend every weekend. So that's something that the company has come up with in order to provide more flexibility, uh, a better, uh, a, a, a non-tangible benefit right. or non-monetary benefit to the employees that makes it more attractive. Of course, we also do teleworking now. Because of COVID, we've right. learned how to do that. Uh, and so there are uh, many opportunities for people to work here in Charleston from home, yeah. but still uh, support somebody somewhere else. I also like the fact that uh, you know you offer programs for people who want to enter into the space, into the sector, but may not have all the education necessary, but you will also help support them to get the yep. degrees and the certification Absolutely. and all of that. And when you were talking about STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. So, so if people have an interest in this area, but didn't have the opportunity to take those classes earlier you will help them along the road absolutely yeah. we have quite a few we have a tuition assistance program That's we great. have from uh, we provide tuition assistance for folks trying to get their first degree a bachelor's yeah. uh, all the way to we are sending people to get their PhD program That's amazing. Uh, That's as well as a, a lot of certifications particularly in the realm of cyber sure. and some of the IT uh, specialties you need a lot of credentialing That's uh, right. that costs money it takes several weeks and a lot of money and yeah. time and effort and of, and of course we provide uh, training funding and funding to get those uh, very important credentials. And real quick where do people apply? Uh, SIC.com. Very good. Thank you so much, Bob. It's Thank been you. a pleasure. Sure. We're back after this.